Who would expect Madison or LeChuck's ship to be here by now? Oh my goodness, look at the damage! I've got to go and talk to Carla about organizing earthquake relief. You're not coming to the voodoo shop? Well, of course I want to, but this is a crisis. There'll be other damage. I have to help. Well, I'll want to hear all about it later. Right. Yeah. See you soon. Did you feel the earthquake? I was too busy running for my life. You saved the cookbook. Yes, I saved the cookbook. The ceiling was collapsing, the building was on fire, people running everywhere, and I saved the cookbook. Cool. You're welcome. <laughs> Are you done with the cookbook? I'd like it back. No, you can't take it. With my bar gone and no hope to repair it, this is all I have left. <laughs> How come you're still here? The bar is half collapsed and slightly on fire. Not done with my drink. What are you drinking? Soda with a twist of avocado. It might be a little fizzy for your grog palates. Oh, sounds exotic. Not done with my drink. Searching for the secret since before you were born! That's exactly my point! Finding the secret is a young pirate's game! Years of experience and me relentless drive will ensure the secret be mine! Only if you don't have a heart attack first! Ha! Last chance to give it up! Then we obliterate you! Get off my ocean! I'm impressed by your crosswind ramming technique. I'll have to add that to my book. My crew is quite skilled when given the right motivation. I'm still worried about Threepwood. He shows up in the most unexpected ways. We don't have to worry about Threepwood anymore. I left him broken and near death at the bottom of a cliff. His eye was pussing up and bone was protruding from his leg. Animals have probably already scattered his limbs from one end of the island to the other. So it's agreed. We stop fighting each other and... We join forces to find the secret. Agreed. No funny stuff. We split the secret. Teammates. Teammates. Am I too late? Was LeChuck here? Did Madison come? Did they get it? Where's the secret? Yeah, I'll bet the secret of Monkey Island is in there. It just has to be. You've had it all this time! I possess little and much. To what are you referring? Don't play dumb with me, Karina. I have the map. The secret of Monkey Island is here. What is it you wish to know? Can't you read my mind? No need. I can read your face well enough. The secret is where you suspect it is. Inside the large safe near the front door. Where are the keys to the safe? I'd like to get it open as soon as possible. I am prevented from helping you with the keys. Ah. Uh. But there is one close by who knows much. How do I find him? Her. And she will find you. How do you know that? She is outside the shop. Why did you take the secret? Doesn't it belong on Monkey Island? I have taken nothing. The safe came to me as you see it and belongs to someone else. I accepted a fee and cast a spell upon it to prevent it being moved. That is all. 
Who owns the safe? Alas, there are forces which prevent me from revealing the true owner. A contract, signed in blood, with gruesome punishments for disclosure. Some kind of a voodoo thing? No. How could you keep this a secret from me? You knew I was looking for it. It is not a secret from you, Guybrush Threepwood. It is a secret. Full stop. I am bound by an agreement. Have LeChuck or Captain Madison been here? No. That's weird. They were way ahead of me. Sometimes it's better to have two enemies than one. But you should not waste time. I might have more questions for you later. I might have answers, but I make no promises. Ah! You found the secret. You are a spark among fallen leaves. Oh, I'm pretty excited. Hold on to that feeling. I am Widerling Bones. Widey. Like you, the hunt for the secret consumes me. Like you, I know where the secret lies, but lack the means to open the safe. You must have many questions. How do I open the safe? Five locks, five keys. Golden keys. Hidden long ago. What do the golden keys look like? They're gold. It's just paint, but they look nice. Where can I find the golden keys? Most are found already. Got one myself. Old Mrs. Smith had one before she died, and Bella Fisher, too. Also... I heard one was found on Bermuda. That's only four. One more was supposed to be hidden on Terror Island. That one has never been found. Hang on, I'm writing all this down on my to-do list. This doesn't sound so hard. A lot of people don't come back from Terror Island. Also, Bella Fisher sank out at sea and nobody knows where. Took her key with her. Oh. Can I borrow the key you have, just to try it out? Not so fast, bright boy. Whitey Bones is not such an easy mark. You prove yourself. Get some skin in the game. Find me when you've got more keys than I do, and maybe I talk partnership. Why is the secret in the safe instead of on Monkey Island? Do you know? Secret's always been in the safe. Uh Uh-huh. How come I never heard about any of this before? I'm kind of a secret of Monkey Island buff. You'd think I'd know about it. The clues were buried deep and clever. Only a few ever puzzled them out. And we keep ourselves to ourselves. This all seems needlessly complicated. Life is like that sometimes. Best just enjoy the ride. You seem more lucid than when you were hanging out of the window on High Street. We all got our good days and our bad ones. If you don't know already, then you'll see. See you around, Whitey. I've got keys to track down. Okay, bright boy. But you watch your step. There is a curse. The keys are protected by a terrible curse. Beware. Whoa, a curse? Really? No. I mean, yes, she did say that, but she was just being dramatic. Whitey likes to make a big exit. Well, one thing's for sure. I don't know how to get to either of those islands she mentioned. I'd better get a good sea map right away. Hey, Wally. Have you got a sea map of the local area? Can you jot down the locations of Terror Island and Bermuda? No problem. I'll also add a few extras. The ship tracking feature is going to blow your mind. It's a little trick I know. You need to be able to go the extra mile if you want to make it in the big time, like me. Be careful. The last pirates I made a map to Terror Island for were never seen again. And Bermuda can chill you to the bone. Not many pirates want to head up there. Oh, and when you get to Scurvy Island, say hi to Elaine for me. 
Thanks, Wally. And sorry about blowing you up that one time. Hmm. Hey, Wally. What was the deal with all the crazy maps on Monkey Island? I made the map to the secret, and a darn good one, I might add. But what other people do with it after purchase is not my legal responsibility. Why didn't you tell me the map said the secret was right across the street? That would have saved me a lot of time. Sorry, but I was all NDA'd up on that one. It's great to see you landed on your feet after all these years. Business has been booming with all these new dark magic pirates. Captain Madison has me on a lucrative retainer. She pays extra for a bunch of wacky symbols I just make up. I'll let you get back to cartographing. That's not a real word. Uh-huh. Welcome to the God's Wallop. Thanks. We feature the freshest fish on the block, mm. and the freshest company as well. Whether you're here to buy or just pass the time, we don't mind. Though, of course, we do prefer it if you make a purchase. Didn't you guys used to be the pirate leaders? It's me, Gabber Streetwood. Ah, I thought when we spotted him skulking around town that he looked mm. passing familiar. The shop seems nice. If by nice, you mean a glorious cathedral to the fine art of fishing, then I quite agree. Have a look around, why don't you? Do you guys fish? Have you ever heard of someone called Bella Fisher? Bella Fisher? Aye, she could spin a yarn from Port Royal to Trinidad and back again. And a consummate angler she was. W what? Good at fishing. She had a secret fishing mm. spot she did. More bounteous than the whole rest of the sea together. She probably rests there now, being as she did disappear on a fishing trip. No one knows the location, though tis rumored that she left clues as to its whereabouts. Did Bella Fisher ever show you a big fancy key? Not to my memory. No, I don't think so. Just thought I'd check. Did you guys feel the earthquake? That we did. At first, I thought it were just me stomach complaining about me breakfast. Aye, we all thought mm. that. I'm hunting for the secret of Monkey Island. The secret? What a prize. I know. They say the pirate what holds the secret can never be sunk. That the wind always fills his sails. In the old days, we might have gone after it ourselves. But we've got new fish to fry, so to speak. I think I'll browse today's catch. You'll find none better. What are these pointy ones? Slime heads. Some folks like to cut off the pointy parts mm. before eating, but that's a personal choice. I'd like to buy some slime heads. Stout fellow. Here's a box full. Should be plenty. You want me to run a tab for you? Sure. Thanks. What's that flag with all the holes in it? Quite proud of that. We caught it up in a fishing net one day. Tis one of the signature flags of Bella Fisher herself. Bella Fisher? That was Bella Fisher's flag? That's what I mm. said, yes. Is the flag for sale? Bite your tongue. That's property of the chums. Shh. With the who? No one. It's too late. The bait's out of the bag. We might as well tell him. The chums is by way of being a semi-secret society of anglers. Mostly we tell stories. Aye, stories about fish. Can I join the chums? Well... I can tell a good story. Have you got any good fish stories? Yeah. One time, I was swallowed by a manatee. No one knows what a manatee is. Trust me, make it a whale. It'll be better. Okay. Take this fishing lure. Other chums will have these too, on their clothes or displayed somewhere. Go out and find them. Show them your lure and tell them your story. They'll give you advice. Learn all you can. 
Then come back here and tell us your story again. You could start with that young pirate that hangs around at the scum bar. Don't tell him where to start. He's supposed to look for the lures. Welcome back. Hi. Hello again. Would your mother perhaps have been known as Old Mrs. Smith? Whitey Bones said something about an Old Mrs. Smith. Well, I didn't call her that. But I suppose some people did. Mainly when she was older. Have you heard of the Golden Keys? Sure. My mother had one of them. Had? She left it to me in her will. I will pay you any amount of money you like for your mother's key. When my mother died, her personal possessions went into probate with the court. When they came out of probate, I was still too devastated to claim them. As you can see from this letter the court sent, they and the key have been destroyed. Well, this is an unexpected wrinkle. I think I'll browse around a bit. Try not to touch anything. Greetings, fellow chum. Greetings, fellow chum. Have you a story to share? One time. Our ship was attacked by a huge kraken. Hmm. But then what? A key point of every fish story is a dramatic ending. Did you land the fish? Did it get away? Does someone get married or killed or both? People want to know how things turn out. Oh, that makes sense. Want to give it a try? Nah, I think I've got it. Some other time. I can tell it's early in your training. Find some other members of the chums, and they'll help you hone your skills. Okay. Hey, Guybrush! Otis, Otis, Otis. What are we gonna do with you? I didn't do anything this time. I was framed. Where's Stan? Did they let him go? No, Stan got sentenced to a hard time. Did you know he was representing himself? I've heard that's unwise. They took him to the ice quarry on Bermuda. What did you do to get arrested this time? Nothing! I was just standing there minding my own business, applying for earthquake relief. Did you know you're only allowed to do that once? There is no justice. Are you worried the rest of the building will cave in? Yes. You think you could spring me again? Ugh, I doubt it. It looks like something happened to the serial number on this lock. I'd like you to tell the museum curator about our jailbreak all those years ago. The one with the mugs of grog. He doesn't seem to have the story quite right. Of course, the truth is important. When I am free again, I will pay him a visit. Well, I don't see that happening anytime soon. Let's visit again soon. Have your people call my people. The lamp broke. Possibly an improvement. What are y'all waiting for? Earthquake relief. And you'd better not be looking to jump the line. Oh, I wouldn't dream of it. Those who cut, get cut. Hey. Thanks, Carla. Good luck. Guybrush. Hi. I want to hear all about the secret, but I've got to go back to Scurvy Island right now. Let's talk later. Okay. Have you seen the line of people outside? Those are citizens who were affected by the quake. But there isn't any money in the coffers to support the relief effort. I'm basically handing out IOUs. Can I get in on some of that sweet, sweet disaster relief? I already told you there's no money. I'm handing out IOUs. I'll take what I can get. Fine. It's not real money anyway. I have to list a purpose, so... What's it for? I want to rebuild local businesses. I'm sure you'll have public support on that one. This is just a promise from the town to back your relief project at a later date. Don't get too excited.
tell me about this flag. Oh, it's a super valuable artifact I recently acquired. One of Bella Fisher's original pirate flags. One of only three known to exist. Whoa! That's not supposed to be unlocked. I'd better fold this and put it in storage. Then I can figure out what's wrong with the lock. They were all in on it, but Threepwood was the ringleader. First he's banging me and the other skulls around with a femur, forcing us to sing musical notes against our will. Then he's shouting nonsense like a drunk parrot, and he takes a bite out of a squid's arm. Right after that, that's when the earthquake started. Still, it could be a coincidence. You find a shark in your swimming pool, that's not a coincidence. Stan's building collapsed. This place looks like an earthquake hit it. <laughs> what would you say if I told you the governor authorized funds for the rebuilding of the scum bar at an unspecified future date? She did? That's fantastic! I'll have a sunken area that catches grog spills for recycling and a medical triage room! Excuse me, lots to plan. Okay, if I take this cookbook back now? Sure, sure, of course. Greetings, fellow chum. Greetings, fellow chum. Have you a story to share? One time. Our ship was attacked by a huge kraken. We stuck a hook in the beastie's mouth and caught it from the inside. You know, what your story needs, it's a part to set the stage, to let us know what's going on and who the people are. It should come at the beginning like a, um... A beginning? Like a beginning, exactly. Like, I was on the deck of a burning Spanish galleon with horse face and itchy jaw. And then all of a sudden, and then you take it from there. Want to give it a try? Nah, I think I've got it. Okay then, your story's not bad. But it's missing a few things. Find some other chums to help you fill in the gaps. I'll do that. Hi. Bright boy. How was your search? You spend a lot of time looking out your window. I'll watch the locksmith. Maybe somebody comes with a golden key someday, you know? Anything is possible. I'll keep an eye on the fish shop, too. There is a mystery here. Lot of fish, but no boat. Did you mean what you said about a curse? You still gonna look for the keys if it's true? Of course. Then it does not matter. See you around, Whitey. Most likely. Ah. Thanks. It looks like you tried to cook the book instead of the recipe. Oh well, I should be thankful I'm getting it back at all. Next time you can just put it in the bookshelf yourself. Can I borrow this book? Fine, fine. Thanks. I won't let you down. I'll definitely return this.
Ahoy! Ahoy! Permission to come aboard. Afraid we can't let you do that. Permission to come aboard, sir. This isn't a protocol issue. Although we do enjoy a good protocol. Are you going to let me talk? Apparently, that's what you enjoy doing. There's been a deadly scurvy outbreak on the ship. We're under strict quarantine, so we don't infect others with this deadly pathogen. I don't think scurvy is contagious. You don't know that. My mom's gardener's second cousin's pastry chef says it is. It's a scientific fact. Oh, don't try to snow us with your science quackery. If scurvy wasn't contagious, then only one person would have it. <laughs> Duh. Where'd you get that cool flag with all the holes? It looks familiar. We found it floating in the ocean. It's one of Bella Fisher's flags. She probably lost it when her ship went down. We're afraid to take it down and offend the scurvy gods. <sighs> there is no such thing as the scurvy gods. Well, then why is there scurvy? Answer me that! Can I have your flag? Did you not hear me? Scurvy! On board! Quarantine! Well, you could just toss it down to me. Best not to risk it. It's probably crawling with scurvy, trust me. Hi. Don't let the scurvy bite you. Scurvy bites? Oh, I knew this was bad. You're right. It won't budge. It's strong magic. I can still get it open with a spell, but I need a good power spot. It beats trying to find the keys. We don't even know where to start. It could take forever. Only a fool would do that. I know an excellent place for power spells, but it's not on this island. No problem. We can craft it there and then come back here. We'll take my ship. I'll stay here to keep an eye on the safe. And steal the secret yourself? I don't think so. Stop uh, it. Clearly, no one trusts anyone to stay behind. We'll all go together. What if someone else finds out the thing is here? The only map is lost somewhere on Monkey Island. Probably eaten by a wild boar by now. The map maker knows it's here. I've got a bone to pick with him anyway. I'm thinking maybe one of the large ones in the leg. Death waits for all who enter. I'd turn back if I were ye. That's encouraging. It's not one of the golden keys, but any key is a good key in my book. It's an old oil lamp with a little lamp fuel inside. It says X, Y, Z, Z, Y. In all the worst places, there are mushrooms.
for a dead tree, it's a little too lively. Just a dead end. Sounds a little creepy if you think about it too much. Ah, Scurvy Island. This is where Elaine's been growing all the limes for the Marley Foundation Scurvy Project. She's probably back here by now. I can't wait to see her. It says the Marley Foundation Scurvy Treatment and Prevention League, or STAPL, welcomes you to Scurvy Island, 1.5 miles to STAPL headquarters. It's a very realistic likeness of the scarlet plumed point and snip bird. I didn't know Elaine was into woodworking. Whoa, had me fooled. Elaine, are you decent? Hello? Wait a minute. I'm pretty sure I sat for this portrait too. Hi, I'm working due west of the lake and due north of the waterfall today. It's nicely dried, pre-cut, and ready to go. And I think I'll fill up my coat pockets with this bulky firewood. Seems like it might come in handy somewhere, and I'm sure no one will miss it. Hi. Hi. I was hoping I'd run into you again. I was hoping that too. What happened at the voodoo shop? Did you get the secret? There was a complication. Isn't there always? A big, heavy, rectangular complication with five keyholes and a secret inside. Well, that sounds daunting. What about LeChuck and Captain Madison? They weren't there, oddly enough. Well, be careful. How's your project going? The project has hit a snag. We have plenty of limes, as you can see, but people are refusing to take them. They say they don't like the taste and they don't believe they'll help with scurvy. As an elected official, I could have issued an edict, but as a private citizen, I have to convince people. I tried this flyer. Yeah, I've read part of this. I know, I know it's terribly dry, but the facts are there. Have you tried using a different font? Comic Sans, for example. Yes, but I need a small one to fit all the information on. What about adding bullet points? They could be little limes. People not liking limes is part of the problem, though. Good point. What if the text was centered instead of left justified? Somehow I don't think that's going to make a lot of difference. I'm not sure what to tell you. It's basically a sales and marketing problem, and neither of us is an expert in either of those things. Uh, I see what you mean. I'll hang on to the flyer. Maybe I can find a sales and marketing expert to look at it. Okay. Did you happen to feel the earthquake while you were on Monkey Island? I think I was right at the epicenter. Yes, I think you were. How come the picture of us on your desk was torn in half? Ah, uh, yes. Sorry you saw that. There was an incident with a seagull. It flew away with you into the lime groves. I looked, but I couldn't find you. I see. You said a seagull carried away my half of the picture of us? It flew into the lime groves. So far, I haven't found it. Sorry. Love you. You too. Can you spare any limes? You can take a few. Well, like I said, I'm having trouble giving them away. Greetings, fellow chum. Guybrush, you've joined the chums. I'm glad. Maybe a new hobby will help you get your mind off the secret. Um, sure. Well, let's hear what you got. I was up in a crow's nest with a demon lookout called Flambe. And then, all of a sudden, our ship was attacked by a huge kraken. We stuck a hook in the beastie's mouth and caught it from the inside. That's nice, Guybrush, but I think you've left out the most interesting part. 
What was it like to have a Kraken attacking your ship? People want to hear about the experience. That makes sense. Want to give it a try? Nah, I think I've got it. Okay, well, I think this is really good for you. You should find some other chums to share your gift with. I'll do that. Uh, hello? Anyone up there patrolling the deck? Ready to kick me into the sea? Sounds like the coast is clear. I hope. Unless it's a trap. You are a disgrace to the pirating profession. I'm more focused on the staying alive profession right now, thanks. So far, so good. So, um, obviously I'm actually Guybrush Threepwood. Pleased to meet you. Again. I assume that's your real skin this time? Yeah. Sorry for tricking you with the other two. Two? Uh, one. Math's not my best subject. Either way, don't worry about it. You're LeChuck's rival, not mine. I've got better things to worry about. Also, I enjoyed the book you brought me. Where is everybody? Flambe is up in the crow's nest. Odds are he's sleeping. Iron Rose said she was running an errand. The rest went with LeChuck on that other ship. Would that be Captain Madison's ship? I think that's right. Interesting. Uh, don't tell the Chuck I was here, okay? No, 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 don't worry. I wouldn't want to risk making him that angry. He gets a bit, um, scary. Remind me why Flambe still has a job. He doesn't do anything. He's handy to have around when we have to fix things below the waterline at night. Hang in there, Bob. Still not funny. Hey, Bob, would you like to read this book? It's about a voyage that never ends. Sounds interesting and long. Here's your joke book back. I'm sure he won't mind if I borrow some demon fire. Wow, the lane sure has been busy. That ought to give it some zip. This is torn from a portrait of Elaine and me. Stay back! I can see you! How did you find me? I just sailed up and here you were. Who are you? I'm Guybrush Threepwood, Mighty Pirate. Are you alone? At the moment. Thank goodness! I'm Ned Filigree, accountant. I don't mean to be rude, it's just that I'm in hiding. Who is it you're afraid of? Well, have you heard of Stan S. Stanman? The name sounds familiar. Thank goodness they locked him away on Bermuda. He'll be chipping ice in the quarry for a long, long time. I can't help but be nervous, but actually, I guess I've got decades before I really have to worry about it. How come you're afraid of Stan? He's always struck me as pretty harmless, except economically. 
Sure, but you never can tell what someone like Stan will do. He's got no moral center. Like I said, I'm glad he's safely stuck in the Bermuda Quarry for a good long time. You must be good at math. I'm a creative accountant. Math doesn't really enter into it. You any good? Don't judge me by where I live. I've just had a few setbacks. It's all I can afford right now, but it's temporary. I'm on a quest to recover the secret of Monkey Island. That's a good move. I've heard the secret is a one-of-a-kind intangible, which means you can assign it whatever value you want to. Also, since it's very old, you can claim a lot of depreciation. Wait, are you trying to tell me I'm gonna have to pay taxes on the secret? Not if you're smart about it. I'm gonna explore the island a little bit. Holler if you find anything interesting. That's a mighty fine looking chest you have there. What's in it? Everything I own. The fruits of a man's life. The yardstick by which I'll be measured when I'm gone. It's mainly paperwork. Can I have the picture? No, that would be weird. Halt, ship. If, if that's what you can call that. I made it myself. It's a source of pride. This is a scurvy inspection point. The law requires that you're carrying limes before I allow you to proceed north. Here, look, I have limes, see? To proceed north, you'll have to fill out a customs declaration form. Name? Guybrush Threepwood. Fill this out and be completely honest. Right? Let's see how you've done. Hmm. Good answer. Interesting you would check that one. Good penmanship. Not checking that was smart. Okay. This looks in order. You may proceed with full approval of the Bermuda Port Authority. It's a very regal looking ice sculpture. It says, Courthouse of Bermuda. Order! Order in the court! I am going to cite you for contempt of court for not asking permission to approach the bench. I humbly apologize. May I approach the bench, Your Honor? You may approach the bench. Court is now in session. Judge Plank presiding. How do you please? Innocent. Due to lack of evidence, all charges have been dropped. Order! Order in the court! Quiet on the gallery, or there will be arrests! What did Your Honor do wrong to get this appointment? Never beat a Supreme Court justice in cribbage. Your Honor, do you have to buy your own robes? <laughs> or are they court appointed? Order! Order in the court! If I don't get order, I am going to clear the court! Your Honor, are you wearing pants under that robe? Please remember that you're under oath. Order! Order in the court! If I don't get order, I am going to clear the court! Did I mention I am searching for the secret of Monkey Island? Until it becomes a legal matter before the court, it is of no interest to me. Although, I do remember a case several years back where the secret was claimed to be a fraud and a scam to sell computer games. I believe that was settled out of court for a substantial sum. That is all, Your Honor. Court is adjourned! I submit these official-looking documents to the court, seeking a reprieve from destruction. Order! Order in the court! Upon review of said order, the court finds that due to procedural backlog, the listed items have not been destroyed. Except for the fancy box that Brad from accounting took. The legality of the aforementioned document having been presented is verified. Presenting pleadant may therefore take possession of said items. I have no idea what you just said, but thanks for the key. Order! Order in the court! 
outbursts of thanks will not be tolerated. Hi. Any chance I could get inside the quarry? Not many try to get in here. Just out. What's the purpose of your visit? It's a social call. We do have a visitation policy, but it's quite strict. Who are you here to see? Stan. We do have a Stan. I'm a little surprised he'd have a visitor. Can you prove you know him? I can describe him. Loud jacket. Never stops moving his arms. Or his lips. That does sound like him. But I'm supposed to see some actual physical evidence. Just bring me something that shows you two have ever been in a room together. That way, I can tell my fa... Uh, my boss that I did my job. Greetings, fellow chum. Greetings, fellow chum. Have you a story to share? I was up in a crow's nest with a demon lookout called Flambe. And then, all of a sudden, our ship was attacked by a huge kraken. It was gross inside. Soft floors and yellow stuff all over the place. I lit the hull on fire with Flambe's head so it would burn underwater. We stuck a hook in the beastie's mouth and caught it from the inside. Listen, let me tell you something about anglers. By which you mean people who fish. Right, but if you are one, you'd say angler. I would? Every subculture has its own special language. Words with significance specific to that subculture. When you use them, you convey both meaning and membership. That sounds good. That's why authentic sounding fish stories always have plenty of angler lingo. For example, I wouldn't tell people a big fish broke my string. I'd say, I was jigging with a hard bait when a strike from a lunker snapped my leader. That's both highly specific and difficult to understand. Exactly the point. Want to give it a try? Nah, I think I've got it. All right. Not a half-bad story. You know who you should talk to. There's a crazy old yardarm hanger, Bob something. I think he sails with Captain LeChuck. Apple Bob. Sounds right. Thanks. What do you think of this picture of me and my extremely dear friend Stan together? We had it painted at our local muskrat club meeting. You look real close. All right. You can go in and see him. But no escapes. I wouldn't dream of it. You don't want to be right there when I open the gate. Go stand next to his stump. All clear. Hey, Stan. Hi there, son. Nice to see you. What are you in for? About five to ten. Minutes or hours? You don't have the look of a man doing any more than that. Nope, you have the look of a man who's going places, and who might want to decorate those places when he gets there. I want you to consider these two words. Ice. Sculpture. Separately, they're exciting. Strength. Elegance. Transparency. Together, they- Stan! Not today. Don't wait too long. They're selling like hotcakes. How about I bust you out of here? Yeah, this place seems a little harsher than the jail on Melee. I might or might not know a competent locksmith who could take care of those shackles. Oh no, son. I can't escape. Wouldn't be wise. I'm only in for a month, after all. Got a copy of the judge's order right here.
Yeah, I sure did get off light. Lucky for me they never caught on to my pyramid scheme or I'd probably be doing 10 years. Tell me more about that pyramid scheme you mentioned. Honestly, I don't know why the law makes such a big deal about it. It's just creative money management. Easy if you know what to do with the figures. I've got this accountant, Ned Filigree. He's a genius with that stuff. If they ever saw his records... Well, let's just say the first thing I'm doing when I get out is go burn all that paperwork. My hunt for the secret of Monkey Island is going great. Good for you, kid. Closing time comes too soon for us all. You gotta try all the snacks you can before it does. This place sure is quiet. That's what productivity sounds like. I think I'll poke around a little. You enjoy yourself, son. Elaine and I could use some marketing advice. The Marley Foundation is trying to combat scurvy by distributing limes, but no one's willing to take them. I feel your pain, son. I had a similar problem selling life preservers in the farming community. Sometimes people don't know what they want even when they want it. You got any promotional materials? Elaine made this pamphlet. I see the problem. It's wrong from top to bottom. You couldn't sell water to fish with this blather. It's a little dry. Well, it's got facts in it. Worse than that, scientific facts. I'll need to meet with her to iron this out. Can't you just tell me what to do and I'll tell her? No, no, that won't do. Things get lost in translation. A whinny isn't a whinny if it doesn't come out of a horse's mouth. No shade on you, son, but you're not a pro. You wouldn't be able to convey the nuance that's needed here. She and I have got to have a meeting of the minds, and minds have got to meet face to face. I'll let her know. I think I'll poke around a little. You enjoy yourself, son. I can read the serial number. I'll copy it down. It looks like a secret escape tunnel. Nice view! Roaring fire, melting ice, very hoogly. Welcome, loyal subject. These matches are specially formulated for freezing temperatures. Disclaimer, will not light underwater. It's slowly filling up with castle. Your Majesty? <laughs> no need to be so formal. This is Bermuda. Your guy brush three foot, aren't you? I'm Odina the Ninth. I know your wife. Elaine? You sound uncertain. How many wives have you got? Just the one I'm aware of. What brings you north of the 19th parallel, guy brush? Your crown, as a matter of fact. Ha! <laughs> Get in line. Everybody wants the crown. Everybody? The crown of keys is a ceremonial artifact worn by the reigning queen of Bermuda. It was originally fashioned from the house keys of the citizens as a gesture of trust. And or submission? My predecessor as queen is the one who added the golden key. I think it gives a certain pizzazz. Perhaps I would be able to help safeguard that valuable item. I think it's perfectly safe with me. And with the armed guard standing at the foot of the stairs blocking your exit. 
you may touch the crown if and when you become queen, and not before. Become queen? Interesting. Hypothetically, how exactly would a person become queen of Bermuda? You have to earn it, win it, wrest it from the iron grip of the previous queen. Most people can't manage that, of course. But by the traditions of Bermuda, all are welcome to try. To become queen, you must show your qualifications by defeating the current queen in three contests. The contests test your heartiness, your seriousness, and your intelligence. Three trials. It's just like becoming a pirate. It's nothing like becoming a pirate. Well, except for the three trials part. Contests. They're contests. Can you give me more details on the contests to become queen? The contest of heartiness is an eating contest. Raw fish. Call it sushi if it helps you sleep better. The contest of seriousness is one where you must keep a straight face. Whoever laughs first loses, which I never do. The contest of intelligence is an algebra test. 20 second time limit, best answer wins. And yes, I do always have the best answer. You sound like you're serious about this. I challenge you to the contest of heartiness. Come with me. We've got to go downtown. See that triangle? There are three of them here in the building. One for each contest. When you want to formally issue a challenge, you ring the triangle. Dios mio, another challenge. Ladies and gentlemen, although your appetite for this nauseating affair never ceases to amaze me, it is my solemn duty to adjudicate this, the contest of heartiness. As you are all thoroughly aware, the objective is to successfully and permanently consume more raw fish than your opponent. Today's challenge fish is bloater. Wait a moment. The bucket of plenty contains no plenty. There are no fish here whatsoever. And the contest cannot be held without fish. Everyone go home. I'll make this quick. I don't know when LeChuck's coming back. Greetings, fellow chum. Greetings, fellow chum. Have you a story to share? I was bait casting dead stick from a crow's nest with a Guggen called Flambe. And then, all of a sudden, our ship was attacked by a huge kraken. It was gross inside. Soft floors and yellow stuff all over the place. I lit the hull on fire with Flambe's head so it would burn underwater. Then we stuck an umbrella jig head in the beastie's mouth and reeled it in from the inside. You know what? I think your story would really benefit from some colorful description. Like when I hook a fish. I don't just say I hooked a fish. I say there was a majestic fish, glistening like liquid silver, dashing through the waves, stretching my line out like the truth in a schoolboy's mouth. Oh, that does seem a little more gripping. Want to give it a try? Nah, I think I've got it. Good luck. You weave a story like a wicker placemat with a mosaic of coffee stains. Is that good? Tightly woven and useful. The coffee stains give it character. You should tell a story at the Cod's Wallop. Hello. What are these blobby guys? Toadfish. 
Surprisingly, no relation to actual toads. Are these eels? Hagfish. Very tasty, but don't let them get around your neck. What are these little yellow guys? They're lump suckers. Easy to eat and great for sucking out cysts and boils. These are tremendous. What are they? We don't actually know. Found them at the bottom of the shipment. What are those fish up there called? Bloaters. Best not to ask why. Well, I'd like to trade my fish in for some bloaters. An underrated delicacy. I'll put it on your tab. Thanks. <sighs> Greetings, fellow chum. Greetings, fellow chum. Have you a story to share? And don't be nervous thinking it's a test to see whether you've mastered the art. Even though that's just what it is. I was bait casting dead stick from a crow's nest with a Guggen called Flambe. And then, all of a sudden, our ship was attacked by an immense kraken with 40 tentacles, like the writhing fingers of the sea itself grasping to haul us down. Inside, it was like walking on soft cheese with rivers of pea soup that stank like a landlubber's bait box. I lit the hull with Flambe's head so it would burn underwater, blinding as the sun and furious as the sea. Mm. Then we stuck an umbrella jig head in the beastie's mouth and reeled it in from the inside. That was a whopper of a story. You've clearly learned all there is to learn. I hereby declare you to be a chum grand master. Congratulations. Wow, thank you. That's a great honor. Is it all right if I take this flag with me? That would be within your rights as a well-respected chum of the highest order. Mm. Seriously? Be sure to treat it nice. It doesn't need more holes than it's got already. You found it like this? It was over 200 years old. It's the only one on the island. An irreplaceable natural resource. What are we supposed to do with it now? Make two things? How many people besides yourself even know the location of this tree? Not many at all. I did tell someone about it just recently, but... But what? Who was it? Well, a uh, coincidence. Hello. I think I'll browse today's catch. You'll find none better. How's it going, chums? Yes, yes, that's very clever. Do we have any special privileges for being high-ranking chums? Not even the respect of your peers, my boy. Just the use of any property that belongs to the society. Aha! Gross. Looks like the old avocado soup. Not done with my drink. Hello. Ooh, that was refreshing. Are the blowfish for sale? No, indeed. These are for personal use. They're excellent for bourbon contests. Care to join us? Don't mind if I do. Winner gets to keep the blowfish. <gasps> oh, 
was an absolute ripper. I hereby declare you the winner. The blowfish is yours. Hi. Bright boy. How was your search? I've got a golden key. Then we're equal now. You come back when you got more than me. Maybe we can talk about something. See you around, Whitey. Most likely. Welcome back. Hiya. Can you make me a key from this serial number? Sure. A shackle key, eh? Special extreme cold hardened version. They don't even make these shackles anymore. I guess you've had them a while? Oh, yeah. They've been in my family for generations. Are you sure you weren't followed? We're safe. No one is ever a hundred percent safe. He's in jail for years and years. I think you might be interested in this judicial order in the case against Stan S. Stanman. Ah, what's this? Only a month? Oh no! Take these records! Get them to the courthouse on Bermuda. They'll know what to do with them. It's very damaging stuff. Stan will get 10 years at a minimum. I take care of it myself, but I've got to pack for witness protection. Oh, goodness. There is a lot of junk in here, but I think I see the evidence that will lock Stan up for a long, long time. It says, warning, you are about to enter a maze of twisty passages, mostly very similar. Looks like someone forgot to pick up their trash. Y Z Z Y. Wow, neat! It's magic.
The Pit of Agony lies ahead. That's promising. Okay, here goes. Looking at these ribs is making me hungry. It says, warning, it's a long way. Oh! Oh! on my bed. Herman Toothrot? I think so. It's been a while. How have you been? Meh. Have you been in this cave very long? Well, not in geologic terms. As a percentage of the total number of years of existence of the cave itself, it would be a small number. On a human scale, however, yes! It all depends on your perspective. I'm looking for a golden key. Sounds like something I might have read in a book once. Are you a fictional character? Not that I'm aware of. How does a person get out of this place? Typically, you don't. Are you freaked out by all the weird screaming in the caves? Oh, that's me. Just a little light entertainment and well-being work. Primal screaming is very therapeutic. Uh, try it. Ah! Phew, you're right. Yeah, that feels good. Can I get you anything? Out would be nice. It's a golden key. What did this used to be? That's the cover of a book I was reading. At the end of the plank. No touching! That's a golden key. Maybe it's mine. You were hunting for the keys too. That's how you got stuck here. Is it? I suppose that would make sense. Let's make a deal for the key. I'm pretty sure I wanted it for a reason, but a decade or so in a dark cave can do funny things to your memory. So get me out of here and then I'll let you have the key. How do I know I can trust you? I don't know. How do I know I can trust you? If you let me have the key, then I'll get you out of the cave. That sounds good. As long as it's escape first, key afterward. It needs to be key first, then escape. It needs to be escape first, then key. Just give me the key already. Give me the key! Now! Whoops! I'm eager to see how you're gonna get us out of here now! X, Y, Z, Z, Y. Well, that wasn't so hard. What happened to Mr. Toothrot? When? Did you get him out of the cave? How'd you do it? That's not part of this story. Oh, okay. Freeport! Alive? How is that possible? Someone saw him talking to an old crone on Low Street. I confirmed it myself. I'm more concerned about the crone than Freeport. Who is she? Just some old bag of bones. Don't worry about her. I took care of her. Excellent. She did have a key on her. A big, fancy gold one. Do you want it? No, no. We don't need the key. We have a better way. 
Just put it where Threepwood won't get it. Like where? I don't care! Use your imagination! Yes, Captain. Now, I have another task for you. You'll need to pick up a few things from our ship on the way. Unexpected, but welcome. Yikes. Nice chicken. Don't bite my fingers off, okay? I'm debating whether to include this story in my memoirs right about now. So, the Swabi says, the map or the bucket? <laughs> there are so many other things I could be doing right now. Why is that spell taking so long? Relax. Lila knows what she's doing. My mother always used to say, good pizza takes time. That's idiotic. Are you insulting me or me mama? Yes. Now this seems worthwhile. Sales and marketing people like Stan are a blight on society, to be sure. But a month was all I could give him. The case lacked evidence. If there had been any legally binding evidence, I would have given him ten years with no chance for parole. Uh, he once sold me a leaky ship. Does that count? The court rules not admissible, given the statute of limitations is up. Court is adjourned! Your Honor, I submit these highly prejudicial and incriminating financial documents as Exhibit A in Everyone v. Stan. The evidence is so entered. Hmm. The court requires that net filigree swear an affidavit if said evidence is to be accepted. For the court, I can state that I'm Ned Filigree. The court can establish vis-a-vis -vis customs documents that your name is actually Guybrush Threepwood. If I don't get order, I will clear the court. The court can only accept said documents when accompanied by a sworn affidavit of the person who is legally Ned Filigree. Court is adjourned. This should clear up any issues about who I am. Do you hereby swear under oath and penalty of incarceration that you are Ned Filigree and the documents you are submitting are true and legal? I do. In light of this new evidence, I hereby sentence Stan to 10 years of hard labor in the ice quarry with no chance of parole. Please retain this legally binding documents for your records. Ladies and gentlemen, for your viewing pleasure, we present, for only the eleventh time this week, the Contest of Seriousness. <laughs> on this side, the reigning queen, Odina the Ninth of Bermuda. And on this side, the challenger, Guybrush Threepwood, currently unemployed and of no fixed address. If you will all come to order, the contest will begin. 
The first contestant to laugh is the loser. Have you heard the one about the guy who put an ice cube on a scurvy dog? He said it was chilly. It'll take more than that to crack me up. What do you call a demon who is always on fire? Burn E. <laughs> <laughs> I've never heard that one before. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner is Guybrush Threepwood. Yeah! Where did you get that book? I'm uh, confiscating this. One contest down, two to go. I can't tell you how happy I am to see you. Assuming you're real, of course. Just because I can see it doesn't necessarily mean you're real. Case in point. You'll never guess who I thought was here in the cave stealing my golden key. But then he just vanished, which is something hallucinations do that real people generally don't. Come to think of it, though, uh, where is that key? I, I had it right here, and there aren't that many places it could have gone. Welcome, Your Majesty and Mr. Threepwood, to the Contest of Intelligence. In front of each of you is an advanced algebra problem. You are to solve it as completely as you can and remember to show your work. No peeking, no copying, no swapping papers, and no cheating whatsoever. I will return in 20 seconds to grade your papers. Your time starts now. I don't have the slightest idea how to solve an algebra problem. Time's up. I'll take your papers. Hmm. Hmm? I am most surprised by this, but the evidence is clear. Mr. Threepwood is the winner. But how is that Possible. Clean living, regular exercise, and a brain like a mountain. Dense, motionless, and shaped by erosion. You can see the difficulty I'm having. I can. Better luck next time. Only one more contest to go. That ought to give it some zip. In the defender's chair, the cast iron stomach of Odina the Ninth, reigning Queen of Bermuda, and undisputed heartiness champion! <laughs> and in the challenger's chair, all the way from the Southern Caribbean, still in possession of nearly all of his original teeth, the newcomer, Guybrush Threepwood. If you would each now select your first fish and place it on the plate in front of you. Ooh. Ah. And now, let the eating commence. Two bites? That's more than she ate, right? I can stop now. 
Uh, yes, uh, uh, you can stop if you like. Ladies and gentlemen, your new champion of heartiness with two bites to the Queen Swan is Mr. Threepwood. <laughs> Citizens of Bermuda, Mr. Guybrush Threepwood has somehow successfully bested our beloved Queen Odina at all three of our traditional challenges. We are gathered to complete an orderly and peaceful transfer of power. Should I sit on the throne or something? There are some customary vows. Vows? Nobody mentioned any vowing. Will you faithfully uphold the honor and dignity of Bermuda in your every thought and deed? Honor and dignity? The queenship is not an a la carte position. Okay, sure. And will you promise to enforce and obey the laws of Bermuda? C can I ask about the obey part? I mean, if I'm queen... The queen is also a citizen. Fine, I'll do it. Do you swear to defend and protect the people of Bermuda, sacrificing your own life or limbs if necessary? This is starting to sound like a trap. It's just standard contractual language. Okay, I guess I'm in. And will you gracefully accept all challenges to your hardiness, your seriousness, and your intelligence? Is there a flex time option? I have other commitments. You may sleep between the hours of 11 and 4. Oh, all right. Very well. Citizens of Bermuda, your new queen, Guybrush Threepwood. Congratulations. You want my advice. Give me the crown already. I hope you like spending all your time doing the three challenges. Because that's basically what your job is now. I'm off to write my memoirs. <laughs> Um, as your queen, I've decided to abolish the monarchy in favor of total anarchy. That's why I've symbolically destroyed the crown. Why don't you all take a key? You get a key. And you get one. And you! Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got places to be. Did I ask you to give the prisoner a drink of water? No, Captain. You did not. I was acting on my own initiative. When I want initiative, I'll ask for it. Of course, sir. I need you to be a team player. And right now, the team is focused on one thing. The secret. Uh, yes, sir. What? What is it? Out with it! Well, it's just that some of the crew have been talking. Tell me already! The feeling is that the secret is not really a team goal. It's been suggested that you think that securing the secret will help you to win over Elaine Marley, which, well, frankly, sounds kind of deluded. It's not realistic, sir. You are not to mention Elaine in my presence, and do not presume to know what I am thinking. Sorry, Captain. This will be the last time I bring it up. Yes, it will be. I have some disturbing news about your sentence. Ten years? Oh no, I can do a month standing on my head, but not ten years. You gotta get me out of here. Consider it done. Ah, freedom. Now let's get out of here before they come by to refrost the shackles. Yes, I want to take you to talk to Elaine about the limes. 
There's a handy tunnel over there where Chisel Pete escaped a few days ago. I'm so glad you could come, Mr. Stanman. Always happy to help out a fellow entrepreneur in a non-competing industry. We'll start with branding. Lime is the residue in a bathtub. It's thin, it's unappealing. Saying it out loud sounds like whining. We need something with sizzle, with edge, like razor bombs or sour bombs or something. I see what you mean. Guybrush, you were once a young man with adrenaline issues. What do you think? Uh, fangberries. I like it, I like it. You've got a future, son. Your promo flyer has also got to go. Now let me just show you what I'm thinking. We want snake oil, crystal vibrations. The more miraculous and improbable it sounds, the better. I'm not sure I'm comfortable with lying. Then we won't put it into words. We'll use a picture. Pictures don't lie, they imply. Guybrush, if Fangberries could do anything in the world for you, what would you want it to be? Find the secret of Monkey Island. Guybrush! That's good, but I'm thinking more along the lines of a superpower. Irresistible charm? You've already got that. Aww. Everybody wants to be charming. That's perfect. Now, lastly, we need a call to action. Get cold or go dark or take that. Those don't mean anything. Don't need to. It's just a short, punchy slogan that sounds like you're supposed to do something right now. Hmm. Plunder the main. Good. That'll have some appeal for the pirating demographic. This is your new flyer. Show people this and they'll be begging for your product. Name your price, firstborn, anything. Actually, we'll be giving them away. This is a public health initiative. What? Well, now that's just crazy talk. You don't give away the prize bull just because people need bulls, if you follow me. I'm definitely sensing some bull here, if you follow me. Well, it's about time to close anyway. You can mail me my cut. I'm out of here. Don't follow me. Your cut? Now, wait just a minute. I'll just borrow this for a little while. I have some exciting scurvy news for you. Read this. Fangberries, a new amazing miracle fruit. <sighs> Regrows hair, removes belly fat. Oh, also cures scurvy, fantastic. Have you got any of these miracle fangberries? Sure thing, right here, these little green guys. You're sure there's no science in them? Check the flyer. You won't find a whiff of science. We're saved! Plunder the main, and welcome aboard! It's seen better days. The holes of the three flags line up and show one exact location. I'll mark it with an X. This is certainly exciting. Watch out below. This is really deep. I've already been diving for four minutes. I've got to turn back now or I won't be able to hold my breath long enough to return to the surface. My lungs are full of delicious air again.
Looks like I've tracked you down. Really far down, actually. That's the last key. Voodoo Shop, here I come! I'm not superstitious, but I've seen one too many angry ghosts. I better split. Threepwood has all the keys! That's right, Captain. Just recovered the last one. Prepare to set sail for Melee Island immediately. What about my spell? It's almost ready. I'm sure I'll find some use for it later. I'm afraid I can say the same for you, however. Ah, you're betraying me? I'm the one who does that. But I do respect talent in other people. It's cheesier than I imagined, but still beautiful. Go! <laughs> oh. Okay. Hmm. I wasn't really thinking about the possibility of yet another lock. This seems like overkill. Well, there's no serial number. Maybe I can break it open. This is not a problem. The key is probably somewhere obvious. Three points! Uh -huh. LeChuck, my old nemesis. Here we are again. Looks like this story ends the way it was always destined to end. With just you and me and the secret. Not quite. I don't suppose it'll do me any good to point out that you're cheating again? I've underestimated your resourcefulness, Threepwood. But force always wins in the end. You should try it sometime. Good luck opening that. It's well made. I tried everything I could think of for a whole minute, and I didn't make a dent in it. Of course not. The secret can only be revealed in a ceremonial chamber located deep within the bowels of Monkey Island. That would have been nice to know ahead of time. It pleases me to have you live with the knowledge of how close you were to having this before I took it from you. So, I've decided not to kill you right this minute. Outside that door, the deal is off. Don't even think about following me, and count to a hundred before you leave the building. A hundred. Guybrush! Whitey Bones said she saw you come in. Are you all right? No. I mean, yes, I'm fine. Do you want to talk about it? The truck has the secret, and he's headed for the bowels of Monkey Island. The caverns underneath the big monkey head? There's no time to lose. Let's talk on the way. <laughs> 